As we continue our study of how to understand the Bible, one of the most important things to understand in your initial reading of a passage or a book of the Bible is its genre or the type of literature that it is. And so I want to say a few things in general about the importance of understanding the genre of what you're reading. And we do this all the time in everyday life. For example, do you recognize the following genres? Once upon a time, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi walk into a bar. Jury finds Chauvin guilty of all charges in Floyd murder. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. My fellow Americans, or congratulations, you may have won a brand new Kia Soul. You know, with complete with the, the key taped to the uh, mailer ad, uh, a key that just may start that brand new car if you bring it into the dealership, okay? So we know what these things are. You know, one is the beginning of a joke. Another is the beginning of a wedding or maybe a funeral and so forth, all right? The point is we know what to expect from the very moment the first line is uttered. We know what these, what, the difference between a, a newspaper headline and um, an ad we get in the mail. And note the subtlety with which we interpret these various genres. For example, we know not to take that last one seriously. The, the, the ad that comes in that says you may have won you know, a, a new car, or, or you may have, you know, Publishers Clearinghouse, you may have already won something, all right? It takes a little bit of training. I remember when my kids first saw that, and they saw a key, actually, that came in the mail. They said, yeah, we need to go down to the dealership and, and see if that's it. And I had to explain to them that this is junk mail, that they're trying to get you in so that you will buy a car. So, despite all the literary evidence to the contrary, what it actually says we learn over time not to take some of those things too seriously. Other things we do take seriously. It all is, comes back to the genre and what you expect. You have to be taught this or you have to learn from experience that you must not confuse a wedding invitation, which also is very gaudy and comes as a letter in the mail. You should not confuse that with junk mail. If you like what you've heard and you want more, visit christian-studies.org and subscribe to the video course on understanding the Bible. And while you're there, check out our journal and other content from the Center for Christian Studies.